Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Stand down. Get inside already. I wouldn't be out here if I didn't have to be. I nearly blew your head off! God! Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd do the same. What's going on here? Bugs. Zillions of them, coming up the tunnels from the hot labs. My team's been running on stems for days. Look. You're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. Call me Shepard. I was sent to find an Asari matriarch. Benezia? Yeah, she came through here. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. But first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. I'm packing fire and steel. They want to fight with claws and teeth, it's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I've got business with her. Stay out of my way. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I just wanted to offer some deployment advice. You're lucky these things are dumb animals. Three coordinated guys could take this place. Have you checked the layout yet? Easily defensible by a few people. That's not counting the automated defenses. Automated defenses can be overridden. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, 
Listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! <sighs> Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. We're all in the same boat. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Two legs good, four legs bad. 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 You should talk to the captain. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. Why'd you come up here? Why would you come here? We're all going to die. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. It seems I've been caught up in events. Sympathetically. Everyone here could say the same. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Given the situation, you should freely contribute to the defense. Pointedly, I give freely to Captain Ventralis. You, delicately, are not paid to protect us. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. What? No! <sighs> Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. 
I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. What do you know about the hot lab? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Why'd you come up here? Some sort of death wish? What? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Arrhaeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me? Because I do not know anything about uh, Then Matriarch. why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. What, what? What do you want? I've had a long day. Don't piss me off. Yes, I'm sorry. I haven't had much sleep lately. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm gonna help. Do you want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Are you the doctor here? 
I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. I ain't volunteering for no suicide run down them tunnels. No Didn't think I'd see this kind of action after retirement. Since Mir's back online, I had a look at your record. You've got quite the reputation. Then stow the pleasantries and give me a sit rep. Yeah. Sorry. I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. If we survive, your employers will want a report from me. I wonder how much insurance they have on those scientists. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Great. We'll be stuck unless he decides we're healthy. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. You came to find out about them, didn't you? Are you trying to be cryptic or are you just nuts? I wish I were crazy. It would be easier. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship, an egg, waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? 
If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. The only thing you could do was save yourself. Of course. That is perfectly true. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis' permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. 